Hello, I'm Milo Bird, the developer of Byline, and I'd like to give you a quick tour of the app. Byline syncs with Google Reader, so if you don't already have a Google Reader account, you'll need to create one. To do so, visit www.google.com slash reader, click create an account, and follow the instructions to create your free Google Reader account. Once you've logged in, you can subscribe to websites from which you'd like to receive news updates, and organize your news feeds into folders. When you open Byline, it will synchronize with Google Reader and bring you your most recent new items, starred items, notes, and items from each of your folders. Let's take a look at the technology folder. You can scroll through the list to see headlines and summaries of the items. When you come across an item you'd like to read, just tap on the headline. Let's explore some of the options available from the toolbar at the bottom of the screen. The leftmost toolbar button takes you to the web page linked to by the item. You can zoom in and pan around just as if you were in Safari, and you can tap links to browse. A back button appears which will take you back to where you came from. The middle toolbar button can be used to add or remove the item from your list of starred items. This has a special significance in Byline because it affects the offline browsing feature, which we'll come to later. By the way, when you make this kind of change, Byline will sync it back to Google Reader. If you don't have an internet connection right now, it will be synced next time you do. The toolbar button on the far right lets you create a note from the item. If you like, you can add your own comment. The note will then be shared on your public Google Reader page. You can also create notes from your Mac, PC or from Safari on the iPhone. For instructions, please see the Notes section of your Google Reader account. There's one last cool feature I'd like to show you. Offline browsing. What happens when you're on the subway or anywhere where you're out of reach of an internet connection? Well, first of all, you can still read up to 200 items from each of your lists, including embedded images. But even cooler than that, Byline actually archives the complete web page linked to by your starred items and notes, so you can access them instantly wherever you are. This feature can also be extended to your list of new items. Thank you for watching this tour. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email support at phantomfish.com.